All right, so more reveals from Hasbro Pulse uh, from their 1027 online streaming uh, event. It was a Pulse Premium exclusive. There was a bunch of reveals. And again, for this reveal video, we will be focusing on the Transformers, the Marvel Legends, the Star Wars, the Black Series, and finally, G.I. Joe Classified Series. Uh, several things were revealed. Let's get right to it. First up, Transformers Legacy Generation Selects Lift Ticket. This was a little bit of a shock for me, but not entirely. You know, Hasbro loves repainting their products, and they did an actual straight-up repaint. This is Lift Ticket, uh, a hoist mold done in red red silver and bits of yellow they didn't give him any new weapons it's the same hoist mold just new paint apps i have to admit i am unfamiliar with this figure with this character was he a takaratomi exclusive or i don't know i wouldn't be surprised if it, if it were a uh, mail-in exclusive or something like that back in the day but he looks great but as a direct straight up repaint with no additional sculpts or weapons this thing is gonna cost at least thirty dollars here in manila hmm i'm gonna have to think about this i mean i i would love to get him just to add uh, to the collection of repaints but i don't know if it's a select it's gonna be thirty dollars i'm not sure i'm gonna want to shell out thirty dollars for a straight up repaint without anything anything to substantiate or justify that cost at markup so we'll see black zarak wow this is probably going to be the biggest generation selects figure that has rose ever released and it's huge and I'm already thinking this thing is gonna cost a little under $200, maybe $190, $180, I don't know. But it is the repainted, repurposed, redecoed Scorponok. Now this one is worthy of a generation selection because he's got some new accessories like that Spear of Destiny. Oh, what was it? The Spear, the Crimson Spear, I <laughs> can't remember. <laughs> and then he which is a more accurate spear in the cartoons not not the that the, the uh not a deluxe class figure that you just took apart and turned into a spear the head sculpt looks fantastic it's new and in out here it's going to be at least 180 dollars i think uh which which actually is the only thing that's keeping me from making a strong solid decision on this figure i love it i would definitely love to pick it up if i can get it for 150 160 dollars that would be great if a local hobby shop is kind enough to sell it at that price but i i think months ago i've seen pre-orders go up to 180 190 dollars and i'm having a little bit trouble on with that figure so uh with that kind of price tag i'm gonna have to wait and see but he looks great uh these pictures from takara tomi's uh, uh pr uh, office is just amazing it just makes you want it more uh, i love how the black plastic and the gold plastic came out man tough tough choice it's coming around i think december or january maybe january here in manila i i don't know so I'll have to wait and see. On to the Black Series figures. This was, I wasn't, I'm not sure if this was revealed in 1027. I think this was revealed the day before, or two days before. This is the client from The Mandalorian. Uh, he looks great. Absolutely. He's got that working ice cream machine. And they they got the likeness right. Uh, wow. But again, it's... I'm trying to stick to the major characters. This is a character that I don't think I need in my collection. Uh, but he looks fantastic. So maybe it's a pass for me. If it goes on clearance, I'll think about it. But right now, there's no urgent need to get this one. Yeah, but he looks great. Absolutely. He looks really good. Really good with that head sculpt. Okay, these are not Black Series figures, okay? I just wanted to discuss them briefly because th these figures are from the Vintage Collection line. And 
given the fact that normally once we get vintage collection figures, new figures that are not re-released, brand new figures, weeks later or a month later, Hasbro reveals the the six inch black series counterparts of these figures and that's getting me excited uh especially with this the mandalorian ahsoka tano uh the death watch trooper great as well but i'm more concerned with ahsoka tano's the mandalorian version and with this vintage collection figure it's it's it is very very good news and i think highly probable that we will be getting a black series version of this figure anytime soon i'm so down with that i cannot wait to it's like a this is like a feeling for storm shadow you know it, when they released storm shadow i knew i had to get that if they release this i'm probably going to do the same thing like pre-order this figure three times just for insurance but we'll have to wait and see okay another stormtrooper i think this uses the new mold he looks great but you know how i feel about troopers probably skipping this one i love that backpack that backpack is actually the best thing about this figure yeah his pauldron looks great yeah uh i think i'm gonna skip this i haven't even gotten the regular stormtrooper yet or the remnant stormtrooper i haven't gotten the new mold yet but i'm trying to stay away from troopers right now so this is probably going to be a pass for me he looks fantastic just an amazing repurpose of the mold Okay, uh, we've got, the, from the Bad Batch, we've got Echo, and yeah, he looks amazing. This is, I think, out of all the Bad Batch figures, at least the Troopers, this guy is probably the best one they've made. Yep, looks great, fantastic. My, my problem is, um, I have not started my bad batch collection i missed out on hunter i haven't gotten crosshairs both versions i have i don't have wrecker yet and honestly i'm not in a hurry to get these figures this omega or omega he this is a great figure and again if you're an, a fan of the bad batch you're going to want to get this one perfectly sculpted i love that they included that bow oh yeah uh like i said i'm not in a hurry to get the bad batch figures because i've not started with them and i have this feeling lingering in me that in a year from now maybe eight months from now hasbro has this penchant of re-releasing their figures it's like they give us the beta versions first and then they give us the better versions like months later and i'm pretty sure they're going to re-release the bad batch figures and I wouldn't be surprised if they put it like as a five pack or a six pack with Omega, like all five of them, including Crosshairs. Was it Crosshair? Yeah, you get Echo, Crosshairs, Hunter, Tech, and Wrecker plus Omega, uh, like in in a set or a five pack. I wouldn't be surprised if they did that next year, like eight months, eleven months from now, and I'll probably bite the bullet on that one and just not hunt down these separately packed figures, because. You've seen Marvel Legends, and Hasbro just keeps re-releasing the figures and turning them into better versions, and they keep making the previously released figures obsolete. And they've been doing that with Star Wars as well. You've got Boba Fett, you've got Darth Vader, I mean, Luke Skywalker. They keep getting better and better versions of the mold. So I'm not in a hurry to get the Bad Batch figures. I'm probably going to skip these two, Echo and Omega as well, unless... A fellow collector is selling all five, all six of them in one go, but mm, I'm not in a hurry to get them. I'll probably just wait next year for the better versions. Bib Fortuna from Return of the Jedi. Oh my goodness, this is a lot of nostalgia for me. Bib Fortuna was one of the very first figures from the Kenner line back in the 80s that I got as a kid, together with Walrus Man. Uh, oh my god, I got Dengar. Those were the few figures. I had a Darth Vader. Oh, my goodness. Um, back then, we, we we couldn't get the toys here in Manila because back in the 80s, there was, I don't know, there was a revolution. <laughs> oh, and every, the whole country was, was turned upside down. And there was no Toys R Us. There was no Toy Kingdom. There were no toy stores, really. And my mom had to go to Hong Kong just to get the Star Wars figures. And he's one of the very first figures I got. I had no idea who he was until I rewatched uh, Return of the Jedi and I thought, yeah, he's pretty cool. So lots of nostalgia riding on this figure. He looks great. Uh, my thing is, 
do I really need him? I don't have my job at the hut figure anymore. So I don't know. Uh, if I find him, like I'm not going to pre-order this guy. If I find him on retail and he's he's got a discount on him or something I, and not selling at a really ridiculous price, I might get him. But other than nostalgia, there's really nothing driving me to get this figure at the moment. I'm trying to manage my funds and this is not a priority. On to the Marvel Legends. And like I mentioned earlier, Hasbro keeps turning your older figures obsolete. And now with the X-Men cartoon figures, a lot of collectors are letting go of their older figures and just pre-ordering these figures. We've seen Wolverine, we've, we've seen Jubilee, and rumor has it we're gonna get Storm and Jean. I wouldn't be surprised if we did get another Cyclops, another Professor Xavier, wouldn't be surprised with that. And uh, hopefully, what fans have been waiting for is morph. I'm I don't I could care less about morph to be quite honest. If they don't do it or they do it, I I hate that character. I never want to get a figure of that guy. But uh, here's a pretty big reveal. This is Mister Sinister. A little bit shocked that they had they went with Mister Sinister, and not Magneto or I don't know Apocalypse. But uh, they went with this guy and i guess the mold was due for a re-release i don't know how they do it at the hasbro offices but he looks great uh i love the the sh i guess it's called cell shaded uh that's what they call it in transformers when third company third party companies release uh animation colored shaded optimus prime megatron they call it cell shaded so i guess it's something like this it actually looks It'd be good. I love this this head sculpt. I think it's a new head sculpt. Is it? I could be wrong. It looks like a new head sculpt with that smirk. I don't know. But the mold is the same. They just recolored it. I love the original version, that metallic dark blue. But this one, I mean, just again, riding on a lot of nostalgia. A lot of collectors are going to pick this one up because of the nostalgia for that cartoon. Just a lot of memories on this figure. And like I mentioned in my earlier video, I'm trying to control myself from picking up these animated X-Men because it's they're just I don't need them they're Hasbro's way of getting you to buy the same figure over and over but it's very difficult to resist the temptation and once these are things are out I'll probably cave in and just buy them all so I don't know okay last on the Marvel Legends front uh, we have the Iron Spider-Man or the Iron Spider <laughs> This is about time. I mean, this has been a figure that fans have been wanting for the longest time. Wow, it couldn't have come at a better time. It is an amazing, amazing figure. And I can see some articulation on the spider legs, the armor legs. I hope that all of them have articulation. I think it's only going to be here, here, and here. I don't think these will... No, I could be wrong. Maybe they do. Maybe they'll have. But he looks great. The last time I had an Iron Spider from Hasbro was in their old Spider line. I don't, even, I don't know if it was Toy Biz or Hasbro. But I remember I had one was metallic red. It was great. I had to let it go. But this one, absolutely amazing. Man, they got to learn how to pose their figures. I don't think I caught it. But is this another store exclusive? Please don't let it be a Target exclusive. Because if it is, it's going to cost so much when it gets here in Manila. I'm hoping it's part of a wave or you know what if they want to make it a store exclusive go ahead i guess that's better for everybody <laughs> i don't know our store store exclusives hasbro has this strong penchant for store exclusive you know what yeah you know if they make this a store exclusive well and good please do so hasbro just make life Make life terrific for all the fans out there. Okay, this is not a Hasbro product. I just wanted to squeeze this one in. This is a teaser concept artwork from Marvel Selects. And it's the comic accurate classic Apocalypse. I've been wanting to get a figure of this. And Marvel Selects figures are in the 7 inch scale. They're like in the 1 tenth scale. And they're not in scale with the Hasbro products. But Apocalypse had always been like a huge figure. He doesn't have to be in scale with your existing figures so this is probably one marvel selects figure that i might just track down and get maybe do a pre-order or something like that but yeah uh he looks great he looks amazing i've been trying to stay away from marvel selects figures because they just look great in packaging once you open them up they kind of disappoint you the only figure that wasn't really disappointing from that line is the juggernaut maybe colossus but 
a lot of the times I open up a figure from Marvel Select and I just get disappointed, put it back in the box and just display it in box. So I'm hoping it'll be different for this one and he could just do the regular standing pose. I could probably keep him just in box and it would still be great. So, okay. On to more of the reveals. Finally, we get to the classified series and they dropped two amazing figures. This is probably the most exciting news. First up, we have the Cobra Officer. Not sure if this is from like the cartoons, they inspired from the cartoons, or is it from Renegades or something like that? I kind of missed that part, but he's got some real guns now, no longer the Nerf guns. Oh, this one looks like a Nerf gun. I don't know, but it's looking great. I love the blue shade that they've put on this one. I might just go ahead and track this one. I already have the Viper. I have the Cobra um cobra trooper i don't have infantry yet probably not getting that one but i might just go ahead and track this one down he looks amazing uh i think they did a wonderful job with this one and i don't think they repurposed a lot of parts a lot of the parts are new from the looks of it uh the guns are new the the pistol belts are new knives is probably recycled the boots look new the helmet looks new head sculpt some similarities here and there but ah uh, yeah this was a nerf gun my bad and finally finally oh my goodness an alley viper there was a video that i posted about the figures that we still need from the classified series alley viper was one of them it is a childhood figure that i had one of the figures i took with me everywhere i went i was so impressed with this figure i love this figure the moment i got it hey i got it for christmas or for my birthday way back when oh my goodness like late 80s or, or i don't know yeah, something like that. Late 80s, early 90s. And I love this figure, even with the vintage 3.75-inch nine, nine, uh, figure. And I'm so happy we're getting him in this classified series format. Oh, my goodness. This is an absolute must-have. I'll probably pre-order this or... I don't know. It's a very good-looking figure. And I'm glad they went with the original colors of the alley viper because the more modern joe's line they re-released the alley viper but it was done in another color i don't know if it was the anniversary line or if it were if it was the um the movie line i think it was the movie line with uh with the rock they re-released him i think in blue or in black or something like that i'm so glad they went with the original orange and blue color because this was the alley viper i grew up with and Oh my goodness, I cannot wait to get my hands at this. I'm excited for the Alley Viper uh, as much as that Cobra Bat. So yeah, two amazing reveals from the Classified line. I think these were the best reveals out of all. Uh, they did show off uh, Spengler's Proton Pack. Um, no, I, I think I'm skipping that one. It was my dream to have a pro an actual Proton Pack when I was a kid. I bought all those like plastic Proton Packs that Kenner was selling, but... Uh, I don't know. I think I'm past that now and I just can't afford to collect another line like the Ghostbusters or Power Rangers. I already have four lines that are just taxing my toy collecting fund immensely. So yeah, I'm sticking with these four and what a great uh, online streaming event. Great reveals. Very excited for these guys. Maybe they'll all show up next year. Let me know in the comment section what you thought of these reveals from the 1027 uh Hasbro Premium online streaming event. Hit that notification bell so you never miss out on any of my latest video reviews. And if it's your first time here, please subscribe. Thanks for watching. Thank you so much for staying till the very end of the video. There's something I almost forgot to mention. Uh, the Kingdom Voyager class blaster finally revealed, although this wasn't revealed in the 1027 event. This was at a private uh, conference or Zoom conference for fans. The uh, designer, one of the designers for Hasbro has revealed there is in fact going to be a Voyager class blaster for the Kingdom line. Thank goodness. And it looks to be a brand new mold. At least that's what they say. And he comes with eject. Yep. Done in that clear blue plastic. I'm pretty sure we're going to get him in solid colors as well. So Voyager class, he's probably going to be bundled with Tigatron. I don't know because we have no news about Tigatron yet. And he looks great. Unbelievable. I love the new sculpt. 
I'm pretty sure it's going to borrow some engineering from Soundwave here and there, but it looks to be a brand new sculpt all throughout. Hardly anything recycled. We'll have to wait and see till we actually get the product in hand, but he looks fantastic. So glad we finally have a proper Generations Blaster. Uh, the only thing that worries me is that this is part of the tail end, the very last waves of Kingdom. And based on history with Hasbro, usually the last wave, the very last wave for any of their line, is usually the one that doesn't get as distributed or shops and hobby shops and stores and brick and mortar stores. They usually don't want to order the old line like the last wave of the old line they want the new line so with legacy coming up i i can imagine a lot of stores not ordering this wave and just quickly jumping into ordering the first wave of legacy figures which is going to suck for some parts some countries some some areas in the world because we want this figure these figures but Having said that, there is still some hope because Hasbro has this penchant for repacking things. And I'm pretty sure they're going to find a way to repack the figures from the Last Kingdom wave into some, I don't know, they're going to squeeze it in a wave, a second wave or third wave or one wave. One way or another, it's going to find its way into the Legacy line, much like we've seen with Siege, Earthrise, uh, the Siege and Earthrise lines, you get to see Astro Train being repacked. You get um, Wheeljack and RC being repacked in succeeding waves for the second or third subline. So I wouldn't worry too much with, with this um, fifth wave not reaching your shores. Although it would be great to actually get the actual Kingdom packaging uh, because the... The new legacy packaging won't have that plastic covering and it's going to be a totally different package and a lot of fans are going to be itching to get a blaster and for them to wait for another wave two more waves of transformers it's just it's just torture right so i do hope uh hasbro fixes their distribution and i hope that uh this last wave of kingdom figures actually make it to a lot of territories a lot of countries and a lot of shops so you can all get blaster as well as the other uh figures for that final wave so there you go uh thanks thanks again for watching